This is Shelley Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the Planet Microcap Showcase 2019 in Las Vegas. I'm with Kurt Sorshak from Zbeck. It's a publicly traded company. I'm going to give you two symbols, XBC on the TSXV in Canada and XEBEF in the U.S. Kurt, welcome to SNN Live. Thank you. Great being here, Shelley. Good to have you. Let's get started with a brief overview of the company, and we'll go from there. Yeah, so CBEC is the renewable gas company that produces low-carbon fuels. Now let's get a brief history of the company, if you would. Yeah, we've been in business for about uh, 50 years, um, mainly in the industrial gas purification space. Over the last um, uh, 10, 12 years, we've been focusing on renewable gases, in particular renewable natural gas and renewable hydrogen. What's unique about Zbeck? Uh, I would say uh, unique about us is our technology. We are using a, a proprietary technology called absorption or fast cycle absorption technology that we developed. Uh, it makes our uh, products uh, highly efficient and on a life cycle cost, uh, we offer clear competitive advantages. That's my next question. What are your competitive advantages? Uh, besides uh, uh, having operations in Europe, um, uh, North America, and China, um, as I mentioned before, we have the lowest life cycle cost uh, of any upgrading technology out there. So in other words, we can upgrade your renewable natural gas or your biogas to renewable natural gas at an electricity input that is significantly lower than that of our competition, saving uh, potentially millions of dollars in operating costs and giving you more profitability over a, a 20, 25 year time frame. Who are your target markets? What kind of companies do you seek to sell to? So we have a clearly defined strategy in relation to our target markets. Um, we focus uh, Southern Europe, focus on Southern Europe, uh, France, Italy, and Spain. We also work uh, in the US um, and Canada and uh, obviously China since we have an operation there. Uh, our customers uh, consist primarily of uh, gas utilities, municipalities, um, project developers, uh, farmers, so people who have uh, waste companies, people who have or control waste streams or need to manage waste streams and who want to extract additional value out of that waste stream. What's your background? Oh, I'm a lawyer. I'm not even an engineer in a very technical uh, environment. And how does that help you? Well, law is a good foundation for a lot of different things, right? It, it gives you a different perspective when you run a company, uh, makes you maybe a little bit more conservative than, than, than uh, normal management, I would say. But um, yeah, I've been hired. I had a summer job as a, as a student in an engineering firm and they hired me right out of uh, law school. So I've been in, in light manufacturing, engineering all my life. So Tell me about your management team. Uh, we have a, um, we've been, you know, we've been growing rapidly since 2012 because renewable gases have um, uh, increased in, in importance over those last couple of years. So we also obviously have uh, strengthened our management team. Um, we have a very strong uh, uh, CEO, uh, Prabhu Rao, who, who runs the operations now. Uh, we have a good CFO. Um, we have engineering uh, uh, directors, um, uh, a process uh, director. Um, so we have a full complement of, of uh, uh, managers now in place to grow our company uh, going forward. We've given guidance to the market that we are going to be about 45 to $50 million in revenue, that we're going to do about 10 to 13 cent earnings this year. So significant growth, there's a lot of push on scalability uh, of, of our business and we expect to continue growing uh, going forward as, as the gas utilities will require more renewable gas in their product offerings. So you're a public company, but from what you can tell me, what are some growth drivers? Uh, uh, 
obviously the main underlying growth driver for us is climate change and the need of renewable energies. Um, as you might be well aware of, electricity utilities have started to integrate uh, a renewable electricity out of wind, solar, hydro, geothermal into their product mix. Gas utilities have been lagging. Uh, they have uh, virtually none or very little renewable natural gas in their product offering. And there is a concern, a growing concern uh, at the gas utility side that uh, they might be uh, displaced by electrification. So their customers base might electrify heating, water heating, and they might lose their customers. So there's increasing demand now for uh, renewable natural gas, primarily driven by the need of the gas utilities to add renewable content. Let's get your website out for our investor audience to get more information. Yeah, so our website is uh, cbeginc.com. Uh, there's a lot of information there uh, for people to basically go on and see us. We are also quite active on LinkedIn, um, uh, so also something where you can follow us. Ladies and gentlemen, Kurt Sorschach Zebeck, that's X-E-B-E-C. It's a publicly traded company. I'm going to give you two symbols, XBC on the TSXV in Canada and XEBEF in the U.S. Kurt, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you, Shelley. It was My pleasure. My pleasure.